I feel like Psy Games is not a developer known for delivering JRPG style gameplay of comparable if not superior quality to that of Bandai Namco with their Tales of series. In fact, I believe that this is their first attempt at a full-fledged JRPG game that is not a fighting or a mobile gacha, but still retains the elements and makes it work. Now, I say this as somebody who doesn't like spending $100 on video games, this actually felt worth the price for once because they actually put work into the game. If you enjoy tight character development, lore and world building, and have played games like Rogue Galaxy, White Knight Chronicles 1 and 2, or even God Eater, it's as if they combined all three of those components into a well-designed and properly financed game without trying to penny pinch. I won't go into detail about the story, but you should know that it is influenced by the mobile gacha Grand Blue Fantasy. It's your typical run-of-the-mill story about the power of friendship and believing in one another that no matter what happens, you'll always find a way to move forward and succeed. So if you're like myself, new to the series and are wondering if you need to have played the gacha or the fighting games, it does feel a little confusing, though it, from my perspective, is completely standalone and a great place to start if you're interested in the series. The only issue that I had were the subtitles being a bit too hard to read and small, but there was also a lot of space for them to make it larger. What a lot of people are complaining about is the censorship for the West. You can't play certain characters like they are shown in the Japanese version or the console versions, that being them showing panties, skin, and other features. It really doesn't change anything from the game, so if you hate that, it's probably a deal breaker. Sure, the localization for the English subs isn't excellent, but it's not bad unless you just don't understand basic terms like, I'll be there in the jiffy, which is a way to convey attitude and personality for many of the characters. I approached this game with a fresh perspective and did my best to simply appreciate what I could. To my surprise, this game had everything, and I truly mean that. The story was excellent, the characters were relatable and fascinating, as were the well-designed weapons, visuals, enemy design, and cinematics, and an absolutely killer of a soundtrack, straight to the online multiplayer monster hunting. Not even mentioning the mech scenes, fun minigame missions, instead of just a hack and slash gameplay. I could honestly go on for a long time about how great this game was because it left me with a positive experience. They even managed to integrate the gacha game aspects, such as the elements and the tickets for characters into the core of the game very effectively by rewarding you for completing some of the more challenging content. Not by spending money to unlock something, but that just shows a lot of promise coming from a gacha developer. There's a lot to love here with the gameplay. You'll be fighting your way to a 15 hour story and once you finish, you'll be able to farm some of the far more difficult content solo or with other players from around the world. You'll be doing this to obtain new weapons, gear, min-max, and achievement hunting. The gameplay itself is incredibly enjoyable and fulfilling to play, as some of these bosses have aspects that are very similar to MMOs and their raid bosses. It's definitely something that you will want to continue coming back to for more exciting action and challenge with many different characters to choose from until you find a perfect match for yourself. So if you are on the fence of picking up this game, trust me when I say this, yes, it is pricey, but you will not find low quality here. You're looking at a fully developed and fully polished game. I've played a numerous amount of JRPGs, both recently and in the past, and I have not seen this level of quality in a JRPG in a very long time. What impressed me the most is that it doesn't hide behind a two hour intro, it gets straight to the presentation the second you load up and shows you what you're getting yourself into. You'll have fun, you'll want to challenge yourself, and you'll most definitely love the story.